Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here. Today I have the Kurzweil Artis SE, which is brand new from Kurzweil. It's the SE series, so it's kind of the light version of the original Artis series. Now the original Artis had more functions, but as far as the sound engine that's built into this, They've got the best sounds from the PC3K and the Core 64, and they've got the new German Grand 9-foot concert piano that's here, and it's, it's great. And I'll tell you, when I took this out of the box and I first hooked this up and started to play, I was like, wow, I like this. I could really use this. So here's something to think about when you think about the Artis SE 128. The number 128, it's got 128 note polyphony, 128 multis. Now you can have up to 256 user multis, but 128 multis, which is basically combis as Chord calls it, or layers of up to four sounds. And two banks of 128 each of programs for a total of 256 programs. And again, terminology programs, voices, tones, patches, depending on what manufacturer you're dealing with, they all mean the same thing. It's different instruments that are built into here. Okay. And also along the lines of 128, the user manual is just shy of that. It's 124 pages, but you've got a quick start guide that'll get you going pretty quickly. It's only 22 pages long. Now it does have a Fatar TP100 action in here, which really after doing the Kurzweil Forte, which out of the box, I wasn't so pleased with that action. It used a TP40L in there. This uses a TP100 and they've got all these different kind of velocity settings that you can use from medium to light and lighter and lightest and hard and harder and hardest to piano touch. Now, if you're a pianist, stay away from piano touch. Go to medium, which I believe is the default in here. Perfect. It was really good. I kind of like that better than the Forte, even though if you adjust the Forte velocity setting to light, then it does a much better job for pianists. Okay. And... <clears throat> The other thing is, unlike the new Forte, which is really long because they have the pitch bend and modulation wheels over on the left, and the same thing with the original Artis, they've moved that up. So what you have for length here is basically just the 88 keys along with the cabinet that it sets in. So that makes it only 50 point six three inches something like that just under 51 inches and that's a good thing and the depth is just under 15 inches and the height is almost six inches and this is a good thing because when you move the pitch bend and the modulation wheel from the left cut that off and move it up so that the only length is the 88 keys that makes it a lot shorter, so that means this will fit in the back seat of just about any car that you've got. That's a good thing. Throw it in a case, well, that's going to add a little bit too, but it still may fit. That's a good thing, and in my opinion, I really love it when the pitch bend and modulation is up high here over, over here because I don't have to worry about folding down the front seat and putting it in diagonally from the rear driver's side to the front passenger side so that it fits. And then you can't take any passengers with you. Drag. So, much better. And the weight, 38.6 pounds, which is like 17 and a half kilograms. Perfect. In fact, Nord Stage 2, which was, and still is, one of the best gigging boards out there weighs about 41 pounds this is a little bit less than that so i give them credit for that i love it if you put it in a soft bag it's really easy to carry 
if you put it in something like a hard case SKB or a gator case, it's going to add about 20, 25 pounds. Keep that in mind. And here's the best thing. The power that they're using, they decided to use a brick, which means one end of this is plugged into your AC wall outlet for power. The other end is kind of a barrel jack that goes into this DC power input. Now, I don't know why they didn't use the standard 12 volts. They're using 15 volts DC at 2.5 amps. But I'm sure you can find something like a RAV power that has a portable DC power supply that can supply this for a few hours so that you could play this out in a park or a mountain or a beach or a backyard so you're not limited by some place that has a wall outlet with AC power that you have to plug into. And if you find something like that, and I'll do some research on that and get back to you in another video, but if you find something like that, all you need is a Roland KC110 keyboard amplifier or one of the more powerful lead acid battery keyboard amplifiers and you can play anywhere in the world without having to have an ac wall outlet all right so let's start with an overview of this board and let's start with the ins and out that are on the back panel starting out with the standard quarter inch stereo headphone jacks and if you have an eighth inch headphone jacks there's adapters so you can adapt that to plug into the quarter inch the power switch to turn the power on and off with. Once you turn the power on, 10 seconds, about the same as the Nord Stage 2, and you are ready to play. MIDI, you've got in and out. You don't have through, just in and out. And because of that, the manual suggests that if you're going to be using MIDI with multiple devices, they suggest that you use this either at the beginning or the end of your MIDI daisy chain and there's probably ways around that but that's what the manual suggests okay now as far as pedals there are three pedal inputs two switch pedals and one continuous controller pedal now the first switch pedal is labeled for sustain or damper and they, it comes with a sustain or damper pedal whatever you want to call it now it's again it's switched so it's either on or it's off there's no half pedaling or anything like that it will accept a half pedal like a Korg DS1H but that will not have any effect on what you're playing on this keyboard it simply passes that through to another MIDI device or keyboard so if you're playing something like a virtual piano like piano tech or Ravenscroft or whatever it'll pass that information along okay eighth inch audio in so that you can jam along with your mp3 player or whatever audio outputs they're balanced you have a left and right standard quarter inch balanced out so whether you're using balanced trs quarter inch cables or your standard ts quarter inch cables it'll work no matter which one of those you use USB, two types of connections, storage and computer. Now, when you hook up your computer, you know, type B and A and whatever, you can also do MIDI over USB so that you can control your virtual pianos or whatever. You also can hook up a USB flash or thumb drive here so that you can save some of the settings that you have here or sounds or bring them in okay so starting over here with switch one and switch two on the top panel these are programmable to do whatever you want some of the patches that you use in here will use that for other functions the pitch bend and modulation wheel self-explanatory volume controls the volume of the line outs and you have a dedicated eq over here and you can turn the eq on and off and you have three eq settings low medium and high now the zones on and off 
zone one, two, three, four. When you are dealing with multis or layers, you can turn each portion of those on or off. So if I had bass on zone one and piano on zone two and violin on zone three and something else on zone four, I can turn either one of those on or off and control the volume of each one of these with these four sliders. So, and these four sliders also double, you have, they can be used as filters or effects. That's for four sliders. And then you have this switch over here when you're in multi-mode. And when you press this, it transfers the function of this over to volume of the zones. So that's how they got away with four of these sliders instead of eight in the actual original artist series. Then we get over here to your standard stuff, multi, program, global, storage, edit, save, sound, split, layer, transpose, octave. Transpose is always nice when you have minus and plus right there in front of you, real easy to get to. And when you press octave, transpose is not just going to transpose one semitone at a time, it'll transpose a whole 12 semitones or an entire octave at a time. There's a little shortcut there. Favorites, you've got up to six favorites that you can save here. And banks, there are two banks labeled A and B, and here's where they take effect. Now you come over here to your voices that you can choose from. You've got two rows here, and the first row, piano one, piano two, electric piano one, electric piano two, Organ 1, Organ 2, Clav, Bass, and Winds. That's your first row of eight. Second row, Strings, Voices, Synths, Pads, Guitar, Bass, Drums, Percussion. That's your second row of eight. This category button chooses between one of these two rows. And when you switch to Bank B, these still have the same labels on it, but you're switching to a different bank containing eight new voices for each category and voice selection. Okay. User, yeah, you can store up to 256 user multis, and you can store your program settings modified as well. Now... The difference between this and the original Artis, the pitch bend and modulation wheels moved up so that it's shorter, can fit into your car. Four sliders instead of eight, although with the push of a button when you're in multi-mode, you can get to all eight, four at a time. Six favorites instead of ten. Smaller display, you've got two lines of text here. And again, you still have the same power, the Core 64, the PC3, and the Artist Sounds. Now, when you are adjusting any of the sliders or anything like that, the second line of text on the LCD's display will show you exactly what parameter you are adjusting and how much you're adjusting it by. So that's a good thing. Even when you press on the switch, it shows you what you have just changed so that you know what parameter that you're changing and so on and so forth. And this wasn't meant to demo any of the sounds. This is just an overview. I'll get into the sounds into another video, but here we go with the uh, German nine foot concert grand.
Anyway, Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.